Former President Goodluck Jonathan says democracy in Africa has gone through a period of crisis characterized by social tension, coup d'etat, insecurity, and poor management of elections in recent times. The former president said this during the 2023 Goodluck Jonathan Foundation Democracy Dialogue with the theme Breaking Grounds in the Democracy, Development Nexus in Africa, which took place in Yenogoa. Jonathan said the theme of the dialogue underscores the fact that Africans must see democracy beyond elections and critically look at the nature of elections and what happens after. The recent years, democracy in the continent has gone through a period of crisis characterized by social tension, coup d'etat, insecurity, and poor management of elections, which itself is a threat to our democracy in Africa. The challenges of poverty and unemployment and non-alignment of basic economic rights has created a crisis of trust in the hearts of citizens on the role and impact of democracy in our society. So it is my pleasure to invite you to have an honest conversation and provide solutions that will help advance democracy in the continent. No group of men who have arrogated to themselves the monopoly of knowledge and wisdom must never ever assume that they are God's gift to man to govern and rule them as they will. The next thing that we must interrogate in Africa is who is the leader? Because we have too many individuals in Africa occupying offices who are not leaders, they are merely misleaders. Today, when we talk about leadership, we are talking about people to recognize that it's not a cutthroat competition. The reason why the black man does not have respect in this world, even when he has money, is because they cannot find a black nation that is excellent. No matter the symbol of authority on a leader, be it a crown, be it a constitutional sash, it's very important that the people and the interests of the people to be governed are carried along. Democracy today should be about balance, not bullets. It should be an exchange of ideas and convictions. That is why I often say, those who kill you to rule you cannot mean well for you. It is a call to action, urging us to explore innovative approaches, share best practices, and collaborate on new strategies to promote values and principles across all the nations of Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.